Absolutely. So I, I'm an investor in four um, businesses and I made a conscious decision um, just actually when my first business was uh, starting to do very well financially and um, and then obviously after the business, the business of X as well, to make myself a better entrepreneur, to sit on the other side of the table and, and look more kind of rationally and systematically at, uh, at businesses. So I invested in four businesses. One is Callerstone, which is an e-commerce um, shaving business. So there's shaving suppliers in the post. I'm an investor in a business called University Compare, which is a university comparison uh, website. Uh, an investor in a business called Rota, which is a uh, online staffing business. So a bit like kind of Uber for kind of bar staff and waiters. And finally, I'm an, I'm an investor in a business called Kudoni, which is a uh, luxury um, Luxury, luxury secondhand goods, essentially. So if you've got, you know, that very nice jacket you're wearing there, rush it. If ever you wanted to sell that on quickly, rather than put it on eBay, you just give it to these guys, and they they sell it for you on their own platform. Um, and yeah, I started back in 2014, so I've been doing it for six years now. I oh, sorry, 20, it's 2012. Sorry, it's eight years now. So eight years, and it's been an incredible learning experience. Um, I won't uh, uh, obviously go into the ins and outs of each of the different businesses and how they're doing. But it's, it's a journey. You know, starting a business, um, you have a very low probability of success when you start. Um, I can't remember the exact stats, but something like off the top of my head, only 10% of startups are employing more than 10 people after 10 years. It's, it's, it's tiny. Your chances of success in business are absolutely frightening when you start. And uh, the main things it's, le- it's taught me, um, a variety of things, is that the quality of the, the founder is absolutely critical. I mean, people are everything. Um, they do make or, or make or break the great businesses. Uh, se- secondly, um, the market is absolutely key. So looking for a market which is kind of sizable, has lots of money in it, is always going to be easier than there, there are just some markets that are notoriously difficult. So for example, look at airlines at the moment. Um, and actually kind of historically, um, I think uh, there's uh, some stats such as uh, every, every hundred dollars of capital investment into airlines in the last 50 years, there's been 108 dollars of losses. There are some industries which are very, very, very difficult to um, kind of uh, pros- prospering. And uh, and the thing with all these businesses is, is obviously resilience. It's obviously about keeping going. All, all four of those businesses, I'm pleased to say, are still going. They're trading. Um, they all, all face unique challenges, but it's been great. As an entrepreneur to switch around put the investor hat on and, and, and see it from the other side and for any of you out there who are thinking of starting your own businesses um, the more you can just get interested in businesses generally um, all businesses are essentially the same right they have they have staff they have they have buyers they have sellers they have supply chains they have capital requirements they have cash flows they have uh, they have accounts they have you know they all businesses are fundamentally pretty similar and if you want to read more about this, I definitely recommend uh, looking into the writings of Warren Buffett a lot. Obviously, I'm sure you'll be a big fan to a lot of you. I went to home, home speak in Omaha. There is wonderful thing called the Berkshire Hathaway Annual Conference. And I went a few years ago, uh, which is one of the most fascinating things I've ever done. I actually recommend you're going, actually. You can, anybody can actually go to it. You can actually pick up tickets, just rock up in Omaha, which is this random American town in the middle of nowhere. And it's got about 40,000 Berkshire Hathaway shareholders who turn up and hear him speak. Um, and thinking about, you know, he talks about moats and castles, you know, how do you make your business defensible? Um, and obviously, strategy, you know, what is your plan? What do you want to achieve? What resources are you going to put to, put, put to work? And how do you how do you get there? And, and, and the big thing, obviously, I think with all businesses is, is, is culture. There's a famous saying, culture is strategy for, for breakfast. Going back to what we were just talking about, sapiens, if you've got an incredible group of people focused on achieving something superb, they will normally get there because the history of humankind is about collaboration and pursuing goals together. So being an angel investor has been an absolute kind of delight. Um, obviously, with a lot of these investments, it's still, it's still too early to tell. Um, it was, it was, a, it was a, bit, a bit like when um, I think it was Manuel Zedong was asked 200 years after the French Revolution, what, what do you think was the impact of the French Revolution? And um, he said, oh, it's, it's, it's too, uh, too, too early to tell 200 years later. And the thing with these startups is it takes time. It takes time to build a really, really good business. And on the one hand, so with Bright Network, you know, we are growing really quickly. Our revenue was up 50% last year. We're a team of 40 people. 
said we've got 350,000 members, 200 of the world's best clients, and you could think, well, we've been doing this now for seven years. On the other hand, it feels every day that we are only just getting started. Um, so yeah, you learn a lot through being an angel investor. And the thing about going into it, I think you need to be happy to lose the money. I mean, that was the biggest thing you need to, when I, when I put that money in, I thought, right, this is basically like doing an MBA and, uh, and I'm happy. I don't want to lose money, but if I do, I will, you know, it, it will be a cost of the learning. And so far I've had the learnings and um, they're going okay.